Nick, there's Steve, there's George, and we watch VHS tapes. I'm in the office. We have, I don't know, let's just say 11,483 VHS tapes. We're trying to watch all of them. And, uh, oh, we got a big show today. We're raffling off teeth. Today's the day when we raffle off teeth. And look at, we got a lot of submitters in the, in the what do we call this? The hopper. Yeah. Like, look at this. All these people want a chance at human teeth that I've yep. collected for some reason. And in that hopper represents every single viewer of this show. Yep. Uh, every, so, a surprising amount, though. Yeah. I mean, considering I'm giving away teeth. Well, no. I think that is a tease that's going to keep people going through the next hour for sure. But oh, yeah. I want to say that uh, I, I focused on training videos for this week's uh, uh, show. And, uh, man, there's some uh, video of the year contenders in here. So uh, oh, yeah. don't, don't turn that YouTube dial. It's going to be a good one. Hey, we were just at the Mahoning, uh, the the VHS Fest number seven at the Mahoning Drive-In Theater in middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. George joined us. Uh, Laura, Lenora, 
uh, from Midnight Rental. She joined us. Scott from, from Strange Tapes. Yeah. Scott from everybody. Strange Tapes was there. Everybody was there, and we got some tapes. People people came out of the woodwork and gave us some nice things like uh, TK and Mike outdoors with TK and Mike. We have a lot of their videos. I don't think we have this one. I don't think no. we're turkey hunting. That looked like a new one to me, yeah. yeah and you know it's a comedy because it says comedy on there. Right. Otherwise, yeah. you wouldn't. We should have that on our show. We should put that on there. Let's have the word comedy our on there. Our new Blu-ray, yeah. Um, can you see that one? The bottom one is what I got excited about. Allentown Fair Lip Sync Contest. Yeah, three hours. Have, yeah. Oh, is it three hours? <laughs> yeah. And this was uh, 1990, I believe. So, yeah, that's vintage. Ralph Paul's amazing new guitar videos, all in the shrink. Um, here, there's that one. They're Very all the Roy Orbison-esque. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. But they're not the same, I guess, right? Well, they all Why have a different... Why am I so confused with the... I don't know. They all have a different sticker. That one says rock. rock. And then one says uh, blues. blues. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, they're all slightly different. But here's the Save one money on excited. packaging. Yeah, you Just exactly. put a little sticker on. That's a great idea. Sure. This is the one I'm most excited about. Wolf Control. Yeah. Does, I, does I, it have to do with uh, whacking industry. off? The no, I, I, need, I need to tell you about this one. So... Uh, these guys uh, found this video and it's a Christian tape, but when they found it, you know, it was like unlabeled. And when they put it in, um, they noticed that somebody had edited in inappropriate things at various times during this otherwise Christian seminar about dating. So oh, they, I, yes. I heard about this future video, I think. Yeah. Future video out, from right? Ohio. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, they talked me into it. So that's a, uh, yeah, we got to watch that one. It's sort of like a, a great found cassette that they put out on VHS. I think he said he actually found it in a landfill too. Yeah, like that's the best place to find <laughs> great a weird story. VHS tip like that. So, couple um, couple, uh, couple of finds that uh, I went home with. This is, um, "Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves" teaching video, and it's by hmm. Disney. So there's like clips from "Honey, I Shrunk the Kids," but it's for teachers. So hmm. I don't know if we could ever show this one without getting taken down. Um, and then uh, lastly, it's the uh, Jamaican me sweat workout. Mm. So like, <laughs> like you making me, but Jamaican me. It's Jamaican it? her sweat. Yeah, okay. exactly. So I think that'll be culturally appropriate. And I feel good uh -huh. about showing that one. Yeah. Well, it's Jamaican me feel like watching a uh, found footage festival classic. Uh... You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpet or waterbeds for less. Wow, nice, yeah. nice throw. That did was like great. That? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that was clever. I'm impressed. Uh, I'm gonna try doing more of those going forward. I think that people <laughs> like those. Uh, what are we watching? Stairway to Stardom, Nick. You have this in here. What, what's going on with Stairway well, to Stardom? Weirdly, so we're not part of this at all. But I noticed that um, the Alamo Draft House in Brooklyn is part of their Weird Wednesdays. They might be doing this nationwide. I don't know. But on the 27th of uh, August, they have a program called the Stairway to Stardom mixtape, and it has you know, a clip from Stairway to Stardom on it. So apparently somebody, I don't know if it's our buddy Mitch or whoever found the Stairway stuff, but uh, this, you know, public access show in New York from the 70s to the 90s. Uh, somebody must have edited a mixtape together. Huh. I would love to see this because, uh, especially on the big screen. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, it's one of the greatest shows ever. So yeah, I'll play that. I have a 90 second, like greatest hits, all my favorite moments from Stairway to Stardom. Uh, here it is. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta hear the On the stairway to stardom, you see tomorrow starts today. If you knew Susie, like I know Susie, oh, oh, what a guy! So take my hand and walk this land with me. I kind of like that. You know, they, they, they have so much lattice and so many fake plants. But mm -hmm. my favorite, I think, might be that sad plant right there. Look at that plant right there in between <laughs> the two curtains. I've never noticed that one until now. Yeah, it's fake, but also still wilted somehow. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine seeing that on the big screen? Wouldn't that be something? Oh, that's going to be good. Surround sound, mm -hmm. 5.1. Oh, a dear, a female, dear, 
say, I dropped a gun, son. I'll say, I think I'll be a fireman. A fireman. You hear anybody? Uh, anybody need a fireman here? Here's a, here's a good, here's a good application here. Uh, do you have your fourth fire? Don't pick your nose. Not on TV. <laughs> oh Lord! I only thank the benevolent God for being wiser than me. Because if a son existed now, I swear. I'd bash his brains against the goddamn radiator! That was beautiful, Precious. On the stairway to Sparta. Yeah, one of the greatest all time shows. Fantastic. That was beautiful. So good. Precious. It's yeah. So good. Uh, all right, cool. I want to watch that. I want to see that. Yeah, I don't know what the mixtape is, but uh, it sounds cool. So, uh, okay. is it hey, just in the one in Brooklyn, or is it? I, uh... I don't know, but I saw it there on the twenty seventh. So check your local uh, Alamo draft houses. Okay. Hey, look at this comment we just got. Bad phone, right. Chad. I recommend all taking a moment to buy Chop and Steal at your local digital outlet. Five exclamation points. Excellent idea. Yes. yes. And review it, too. We'll and, read and, those and, reviews off. Yeah. And we will always post those comments whenever you say something like that. <laughs> Guaranteed. Steve, Guaranteed. I, I noticed something behind you. What the hell is going on? We are selling out. This is actually a repeat sellout. So it is uh, very uh, timely for me. It is a podcast called Dad Time Out. It's a bi-weekly conversation between four dads from the entertainment industry with 12 kids, all of all ages, learning from parenting experts and sharing with you, fatherhood, family, growth, optimism, and hope. Uh, as a new father myself, uh, I plan to listen and, and hopefully learn because, boy, I'm I'm, uh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. They, they, they should have you on the show, too, because – what? well, actually, wait, but remember you were on Ken Reed's uh, podcast. You thought you did terrible. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't one of his better episodes, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I liked it. I thought you did. Let's great. try to get you uh, on the show. Sweet. It'll be more fodder to I, to mock you for. I, so yeah, all right. I'll, I will see if I can get myself on there. I just think I need a little bit more reps before I can start giving advice. But maybe they can help me. Maybe I can come on and just be like, uh, "Baby's fussy. We're not sure what to do." How are you doing as a dad so far? Are you? Uh, uh you know, I'm, I'm, I'm passing grade, but certainly not straight A's. You know. Oh yeah. I'm, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You change the diapers and all that. Changing diapers, I'm doing it all. Yeah, yeah. You know, feeding everything. And I, yeah. you know, I don't want to bring it up, but like, just real quick, just like, have you tasted the breast milk yet? No, I've decided definitely not going to. All the breast really? milk's going to the baby. Why? Yeah. yeah so I mean, you didn't. You didn't want to bring that up. Zoe so said. <laughs> you, yeah. you forced his hand, Steve. Well, <laughs> what's he gonna do? It's what everybody's wondering. Yes. Well, here's here's what people are wondering. When the heck is the new Volume 10 Found Footage Festival tour coming out? Oh, good and, question. Yeah. And, uh, well, uh, we're, we're starting on August 19th right here in uh, Brooklyn, New York. And our buddy Robert has cut together a trailer that gives you a small taste of what's to come. Joe, you've got that, right? I got it. Here it is. Brand new Volume 10 trailer coming at you. First time get anywhere. Ready to get down and get dirty. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Can you believe it? <laughs> it was a living hell. Oh, bring on the lawyers. That's not my dad! And joining me for this warm up is my sister Sherry. Yeah, look at that coming it's called at you. Popcorn ya. classics. You'll find out why on the show. There's uh, that's just a little, you know, those are just little tiny clips. But there's a ton more stuff that even uh, VCR party viewers who've seen everything have not seen. So really, I was are just you... gonna say, I feel like everything that's in that show has been tried, has been tested on VCR party. Nope. There's some there's some new stuff in there, uh, and the exercise video montage that hasn't been seen anywhere. Um, so yeah, there's a little. Okay. You're familiar with most things, but they'll, uh, there's new edits. There's tons of new stuff in there. So, And lots of, of surprises and tracking down people and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. 
And we've got shows in Austin in September, uh, late September. We can't exactly say anything about that one yet, but Dallas is on our uh, webpage, yep. on footagefest.com. No, we, we've been booking a bunch. Uh, Boston, Seattle, Portland, Vancouver, just like nothing's, we're, we haven't put the ticket links up yet, but probably in the next couple of weeks, everything's going to go up. So, yeah, um, there's a few on there now, but uh, we're, we're coming to your city and let us know if we're not, then we'll, we'll add it to the list. Um, you want to do some uh, scimitars? Oh, yeah, our favorite production company. Were we battling over that button, or did it just... I had my finger Stop. on the button until like I was gonna. I wanted like, and then here oh. coming at you, and then but then you hit it too. So I did, okay. we should just probably decide if, if like one person does everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. All right, we'll decide that off air. But yeah. uh, I wanted to show this one because you know, Cimitar is this production company in Minnesota that makes all these special interest tapes and some movies, which we've shown. Um, but uh, they do a lot of things that involve like, uh, I think heavy metal music, like. For example, the song you heard in the Volume 10 trailer was Monsters of Rock and Roar, which is a rock and roll song, original song about monster trucks. Well, this one is about um, regional wrestling. It's called Muscle Rock Madness, and it has another song that uh, is fantastic. So, And hopefully WWE doesn't own this. Uh, I don't think they do. In my experience, they own everything that has wrestling. This is on YouTube somewhere else. Uh, hopeful. I really want to an, an, analyze these lyrics at some point. Nine more minutes to the show. Spread those legs and watch them fly. I mean, I, I, I'm i just guessing at the lyrics, but something I, like that. I was wondering if the song was like a nine-minute song, and it, it was like, all right, we're <laughs> down to eight more minutes. In the <laughs> I, feel, you know? I feel like it is, because they really pad. The video is only 30 minutes, taped in you know the worst quality uh, tape, and uh, the song just doesn't end. I, I trimmed it way down for this. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes. Amateur wrestling. And that's why Scimitar is just simply the best production company of all time because, man, they just crank this stuff out. They have their finger on the pulse. They do, yeah. Or they have George, their finger on the pulse. And George, the how's, pulse it going down? <laughs> how's it going down there, George? I'm trying to see what I can do to make me uh, move in time. <laughs> I, I oh, don't know if, it, if there's a lag. Yeah, the yeah, lag is pretty strobing. intense. Um, so. What was he doing, Nick, that, that caught your eye? No, I just noticed he hadn't said anything, but I think that's been it. He's been doing tech support over there. So, um, yeah. oh, okay. But somebody um, posted, hold on, somebody wrote in uh, that I looked like the exact color of a um, of a Kraft Singles this week. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever did, I didn't, I, just out of the corner of my eye. I, you're, in, you're in accurate. a different room. And oh, here it is. It is Joe Blevins. Joe Blevins. And somebody said, Joey, that you've never been more sunburned. So Really? Yeah. Oh. I think you look a little old, reddish. It was at the I was at the Mahoning this weekend, and uh, you know, I had some sunscreen, but yeah, I'm pretty pink. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk more about that uh, later. But and, and, great... and more more about George too. We learned have some new information about George. Uh, I took we? a lot of photos of George uh, over oh, the weekend. Okay. I learned some things. Steve, your mind is going to be blown with some of these new George things. Uh, oh, we, I can't we, wait. We went to a pizza hut, and we all had oh, lunch yeah. together. And the uh, thing just, is, this you actually learned that. The first time we hung out at Nick's. 
<laughs> that the thing that you think is a new is new information you saw there, but we'll talk about it then. Okay, but you you act like I listen to things and like I retain information. <laughs> then, okay? then it's going to be the new information next week too. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Here's some flying windows to sate everybody's appetite. <laughs> Man, I had some good flying windows all lined up, and then our pal Joshua at Huntsville Rewind posted something today, and it just caught my eye. It's a commercial called The Ark, and uh, I think you're going to love these thickly bordered, uh, colorful windows for, I don't know what what this is even. You tell me what it is. Some, something to do with pets. For any special occasion, buy a gift for your pet and help the Ark rescue a homeless animal. The Ark has Needy Paws gift pots stuffed full of treats for your pet. All proceeds from the sale of these pots go to help needy animals. Call the Ark at 851-4088. An animal rescue? Ah, play it one more time. Can you play it okay. again? Yeah. I, I was mostly listening to that song. That's a song. It sounds like a MIDI version of like... The Blues Brothers. Brother. Is that what it was? Dun, 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 baby. For any special occasion, buy a gift for your pet and help the Ark rescue a homeless animal. The Ark has Needy Paws gift pots stuffed full of treats for your pet. You, All proceeds from the Paws gift pots you, go to help Needy Animals. You, you, Call the Ark at 851-4088. There it is. I still don't know what it is. I still have no idea what they... What Everybody they needs there. somebody to love is the name of the song. That's is what it, I was thinking it? of. Is that it? The yeah. mini version? Okay. Well, it's sort it's, of a sound alike without having to license anything. Yeah. Uh, so that's our flying window. I wonder if Wayne's watching, if she can give us a count of our flying windows. She's a teacher, so maybe Summers, she can really catch up on her flying window count. Or, or maybe she could, like, ha have it be a class project. Yeah. You know, like, let's get the whole class involved and have the <laughs> students uh, count the flying windows. What was the last number? Were, were we in the, like, tens of thousands? I think no, we like, but I, I don't think so. I think it was more like 8,000 or 9,000. But That's uh, it? Yeah. We've been doing this for like three years now. And that's all. That's shameful. Yeah, it's the segment that won't end. So, yeah, we got to uh, we got to find some more. But they keep coming in. Like, I've got a backlog of like three more clips to show. So, yeah. Um, let's get into, and I will hit the button, Nick, some ravioli. Mm. Come on, let's see your raviolis. Show us 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 your raviolis. I'm pretty stoked about mine. You sound like you're pretty stoked about yours. Yeah. Who, uh, who gets to go first? Uh, George, why don't you decide? And what were the options? You or uh, Nick? You or Joe? Or Joe yeah. If I get to go first, or if Nick gets to go first, yeah. I, I want. Who's a good, who's a good go going first. out video? A good what? Going. Oh, oh, what's your closer? last video? Yeah. Who's who's feeling confident? Because your confidence is always correct. Mm, I don't know. I just see one of Nick's in here. I'm, I see Dairy Queen training, and I'm and I'm just really excited about that. Da Can okay. We start with that one. Let's start with Dairy Queen training okay. video. Yeah. All right, here's the tape. Uh, I don't even know where we got this one, but it says Dairy Queen Training. And look, it's protected by our good friends at Macrovision. So huh. that is a copy protection that's usually on the least worthy of copy protecting uh, <laughs> content. Why would anybody dub that? Oh, maybe they're worried that Dairy Queen would have some rogue employees that would like, or yeah. like a manager, and be like, oh, I'll send it over to the, you know, the Cambridge Dairy Queen. And they well, can this, use this one for free. Oh, maybe this this is uh it has like ten different short training videos on this about different aspects of Dairy Queen. It has a great song, and I want to go out tonight uh, on tonight's show with the full version of the song. But you'll hear it at, a little bit at the beginning. And uh, I took a little bit from each module, you know, customer service, the welcome video, cleanliness, all that kind of stuff. Did everybody have a Dairy Queen growing up? They weren't really on the East Coast, were they? Were they, George and Steve? Yeah, yeah, they were. They okay. Dairy Queens. All right. I think of it as like a Midwest thing, but um... we had we had uh, Dairy Cream, so it was like a knockoff of it. But we had no Dairy Queens, and we there was both. like a, they they had a cereal that you know gave away a free cone, and I remember just being so upset there was no Dairy Queen to go in. Oh. Trade in for my free cone. Yeah. Okay. Well. Dairy Cream, I've never heard of. Sounds like an abomination, but uh, <laughs> completely different. Not vegan. Video. Not yeah, this is from 1988, by the way, which is peak training video. All right, everybody ready? I'll start it over because you got to hear this song. All right. Me and 
Dairy Queen. I like it. Now Go you've become an important part of our winning team. The service that you provide our customers is what will continue to make us winners. And being associated with a winner is not only fun, it makes your job a lot more satisfying. Uh, excuse me, I'd like to order, please. Just a minute, I'll get to you. Is this what you should I'd or shouldn't really do? I'd really like to order. Should. Okay, okay, what do you want? I'd like a banana split, please. Sure. This is almost like Parker Posey's Mary, Dairy Queen. Mary, where's the knife? Oh, here it is. That would be 159. You don't want anything else, do you? Uh, no. Here's ten dollars. A ten? Do you have something smaller? Well, here it is. <laughs> How did you feel dealing with that person? I felt pretty uncomfortable. As a result, I wouldn't want to return to that store. Since Blizzard flavor treats come in a variety of different flavors, you'll find that customers may need help in choosing a flavor and serve the cup upside down and with a smile. This demonstrates to the like customer that you have person. made a unique soft serve product, not a thick shake. Once you have gathered a customer's order together, hand it to them with a friendly smile. Then remember that customers expect to be thanked and invited to come again. Thank you for coming to our Dairy Queen store. Thank you for coming to our Dairy Queen store. Thank you for coming, sir, and come again. Thanks I for coming, you. Mrs. Smith, and come again. Sooner or later, no matter how good a job She's you're doing... She's always, like, popping out from somewhere. She's always just, like, you yeah. know, walking into frame. Yeah. No matter how good a job you're doing, you'll have to face They'd a customer love those ties who is upset then. with something. Mm -hmm. Handling complaints is not always easy, especially if the customer is angry. Where's my Try goddamn dilly bar? Calm. Don't think of a complaint as a reflection of your work. It is instead an opportunity to help a customer feel good again about coming to your Dairy Queen store. Sure, yeah, uh, opportunity. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. A, it's a good so thing. So asshole customers are an opportunity for you. Yeah, no, it's positive. It's, it's yeah. great. Uh, yep. You'll love it. You'll love it. Here's four and a quarter an hour. Queen store. The ball is an appealing shape that also helps control the portion of the product. More than one ball is used for some products. If the overrun is too high, the product will be fluffy and pockmarked and will lack flavor. If too low, it will be grainy, Literally. yellowish, and wet looking. That's what Think I look like visit. today. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I consider myself I, maybe fluffy and pockmarked. I think I would consider myself that. But you're very flavorful. Thank you. George, yeah. you're grainy, yellowish, and wet looking today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Rainy, yellowish, and wet looking. Think of visitors you would not want at your store. A street gang, an ex-girl or boyfriend, or maybe an armed robber. None of them compares to one of the worst of visitors. Bacteria. You can transmit bacteria too. Always wear a clean uniform and pay attention to your own personal hygiene. I don't know. I feel Welcome about to the uniform. Dairy Queen system. Dairy Queen. So you, if if given the opportunity between like a street gang or bacteria or an ex lover, you'd rather uh, own an ex lover. Or, uh, I like that it was, or maybe an arm robber. Like that could the maybe, <laughs> like you know, everything else probably you wouldn't want. But just spitball here, robber. but let's say an arm robber. I think bacteria would be like number, well, maybe number three on the list. Can't yeah. you? Don't you need bacteria to make frozen yogurt? I mean, I yeah, yeah you yeah. This whole thing is questionable to me. Yeah. I like what they uh, even you can transmit bacteria. And then they kind of show the blonde haired clean cut guy. Um, all right, that was a good one. Uh I'm gonna play I was looking for the tape. I, I think I showed it two weeks ago. Uh it was that how to hit a man in eleven eleven times oh, yeah. or more in one second or less. It had that awesome cover of like somebody drew like a high school kid drew like a guy getting punched in the face. I yeah. couldn't find I couldn't find it anywhere. But the tape is pretty damn good. Uh, I don't know about contender of the year uh, for video of the year, but it, it, maybe we'll see. We'll see how oh, it plays. Okay. Um, there's a lot of great things about the host is fantastic. The edits I tried to keep as intact as possible. Like all of a sudden it'll jump from one thing to another. Mm. They clearly edited this between VCRs and uh, I tried to keep the essence of that here. So uh, here's uh, how to hit a man 11 times or more in one second or less. <laughs> and that's the actual full title. If, if you can yeah. read it, 
it's like one of those uh, yeah <laughs> is it like one of those like eye things where like you see a dolphin uh, oh, you know, well, like, I was going to say the colorblind test where you have to see a four in a bunch of dots. Kind of oh, like that. no. Yeah. I was thinking, what are those those ones, the staring the staring things where you like kind of adjust magic your eye? Magic eye. Yeah, it's a magic eye where Something you see. Like I think it's always dolphins that you see in those. But the actual <laughs> title is How to Hit a Man 11 Times or More in One Second <laughs> or Less! Exclamation <laughs> point. Could be title of the year. Yeah. That's how it starts. That's what you want is the volume of hits, right? That's what you're. <laughs> the number is the important part in hitting, right? Uh huh. Yep. Well, you yeah. just have to touch them. Touch them 11 times. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay, so all the stances that we're going to be doing are going to be. Watch, watch, Nick. There's a. From a non -assuming I can't hear him, but now, well, look at. <laughs> what did he like say? I'm already centered. Okay. You see the Sorry, parenthetical? Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of low volume shows. We should just put that. <laughs> I love when when a text apologizes to the viewer. <laughs> so, sorry, low volume tape. We you should probably have one of those. Uh, it, for flipping. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a LVT. Uh, it's they're all <laughs> they're all capitalized, I guess. So, um, yeah, no. it's a it's an LVT. So sorry. Right. comes off the ton T in here. This is this area right about here. It's about two inches. I thought about correcting the audio and boosting nah, it a little bit. Nah. like this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. your own belly button. So from here, okay, that's four hits, right? One, two, just anything's three, a hit. Four. Okay, now from here, I just pop, pop down here. That's five hits off of one low. And as you, you know, in, in a fight, the person with the most hit wins. <laughs> something called the full course meal. Okay? Full course meal. Which means we have an appetizer. Okay, so I hit him. <laughs> right here. Now i got to go into the main course. Boom! That's two blows, you know. I All right, <laughs> and then there's the desert coming up. Desert is coming <laughs> okay. up. Okay, good. Hand, I hit him in the side of the head. Part of every meal. Boom! Okay, <laughs> now I have to go in for dessert. Pow! Right there. Walk out from there. If you're not the desert, right? Desert. Mind basic. What happens is the eyes leave key. The eyes oh, leave another apology. Oh, this time you changed the capitalization scheme a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry for low volume. Before right. it was sorry, low volume tape. And now it's sorry for low volume. But, yeah, now it's lowercase. But I like that there's some information on there, too. The eyes lead key, and mm -hmm. then also an apology at the bottom. I right. Thought that was, I thought that was nice of them. Mm -hmm. okay. I also so, feel like he's getting so breathy, like he's just telling us the oh, instructions is taking so much out of him. He's very breathy. I, I was thinking about doing one of those like inhale edits that I occasionally do. Of mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, maybe I'll still do that. Maybe that's next week's project. One of your trademarks. Right about here. Okay. So here, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Grab his testicles. Thirteen, fourteen. Grab his testicles. 15, counts as a hit. Sixteen, <laughs> seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty-three okay. in under Sorry. one second. Did you see wow. that? Wow. Yep. Yeah. Right there, you have an easy twenty-three hits. By only practicing it, can you really get it down good? Home, like I said six years ago. Oh. Okay, so that that was not my edit. That's high the way. volume tape. Yep, and that finally, this is like a more updated one. So, mm -hmm. um, but let, listen to him here. Uh, observe silence here. Like I said, six years ago, and I think I had about another 30 pounds on me when I filmed it, but it's still got very, very, very good technologies on it. We took five different videos that we've been doing in the last six months. Is this like months. boyhood, where you watch them grow up? <laughs> yeah, he was a teenager in that last one. <laughs> We added them, we put them together, and we came up with this one video just to give you with a speed hitting book. Now, this material on this video here, if we give you all the videos, would cost you three hundred and forty nine plus dollars, and you actually got it for a much lower price than that. I hope you enjoyed a lot. 
And I want to give you these four, these four stages right now. Now, the first stage of con- four stages. Hmm. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Again, observe silence here. This part. This part I really enjoyed. Okay. Often see is basically um, you're unaware of anything, so we call it unconscious incompetency. You don't even know it exists. Stage two is I'm conscious of the incompetency. That means I know it exists. And then stage three is conscious competency. Okay. And that means, excuse me, stage two was unconscious incompetency, and stage three is conscious competency. So at stage three, you're starting to learn. And so when you start to learn, now I personally thought I was in stage five 15 years ago, <laughs> and I wasn't, okay? Because oh, what I thought was the truth wasn't the truth. So just go ahead and do it. Be like me. Do it. Be like me. Do it. Be like me. Do it. That's what you need to do. Now, um, probably have a lot of things you want to learn even they more me okay 75. <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> <laughs> he's older now <laughs> thank you very much for being here and god bless you very much <laughs> this is your testimonial <laughs> also it's god across a person's life span it's for all stages of your own right. life. also can you say god bless you very much uh, uh generally I, you don't but, i don't know yeah. i don't know if they say god bless you very much no. i think you just say regular old god bless you, you don't that say very sounds much like a jerky voice thing <laughs> yeah, god, bless you. Very god bless much. you very much sizzle chest you know yeah <laughs> things you want to learn even more okay thank you very much for being here and god bless you very much <laughs> comes back to him and he's a skeleton listen to the soundtrack too Free report. This is at the end of Star Wars. The end of Star Wars where they're handing out the Oh yeah. The, the, the medals to yeah, everyone gets one but Chewie. Oh no, this is when E.T. and Elliot like fly up into the Oh yeah. Yeah. Special thank you to John Williams for all his kind support during the making of this video. <laughs> Maybe that wow. is a contender for video of the year. That's up there for me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. I just had a lot to like. Well, when he goes back on the uh, trying to figure out the incompetent, unconscious, the unconscious incompetence. No, no, no. I should go back to number two when he does that. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I, I watch he messes him do that. himself up. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Steve during some of his sellout <laughs> pitches. Uh, Steve, he, is, he reminds me exactly of Steve, actually. No different at all. Our lighting's very similar. <laughs> in the, uh... <laughs> Yeah, and we had, and your had audio, problems with your, your volume your, before. Your yeah. Audio, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, what I, you got, some, Nick? somebody sent me this tape, and I apologize. I looked everywhere in emails, and then people send us stuff on Instagram and Facebook. I don't know where this is, but it's called don't Success keep track. Successful Retail Selling Women's Apparel. This is a rip of a VHS training tape from the 80s. The quality is not great. But like the last subject, this man is one of these guys that I think we love in videos where he's super confident and uh, has a rapt attention of an audience. And he's trying to tell women who work at clothing stores how to upsell. So how to suggestive sell other items like on top of the, the dress or whatever they're buying. So that's what we're going to learn. We'll all learn it together with so a little bit of humor. Yeah? Did they watch this like when they were like learning a new job or something? They would have to like pop this tape in and, and yeah, do it I think way, it was part. It... it must have been part of the training uh, okay. for different salespeople. <laughs> Character's name is Harry J. Friedman. All right. Ooh, my yeah. windows are great. Yeah, the tracking is terrible. I love no. it. So these are some things that we're going to see for this show. Yeah, this is the trial close uh, segment. By the way, I've only watched the first 24 minutes of this tape. So this is going to be, this might be in volume 11, because there's so much more I have to watch. And did you say contender for a video of the year? Uh, for me, it is. I think especially right. once the whole video is, is right. uh, watched. Welcome back to the module called the trial close. Now, I absolutely want some honest responses from you. All right. You got this? You're working you with a lady an hour and a half. An hour and a half. You've got her on an evening dress that costs $1,000. You got it? When she came in, she said she wanted to spend $750 max. You're now on a $1,000 dress. You've got an hour and a half invested. Back and forth, forth and back, back and forth, forth and back, back right? It doesn't look good. 
This is out of the corner of her eye. She puts it on. You, 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 right? She's about there. She's about there, and she says, I'll take it. You got it? She says, I'll take it. Do you A, add on at this point, or B, run like hell to the cash register? <laughs> this story sometimes bothers a lot of people, but I have to tell it because I think it, it changed my life in a lot of ways. A while back, I went to a high school reunion. And it was quite a while back, actually. And there she was, singly the most beautiful girl I'd, I'd ever seen in high school. And um, she was always beautiful inside as well as, as physically beautiful. Eh! You know, why, <laughs> tell me that now. Thank you. I mean, it's too late now. But why, you know, why? If she were to say, uh, well, I have a function to go to in Hawaii next week when we fly over there, right? Oh. Might you have some other things that might go well, along for the trip? And then, when you feel bad, you don't add on. And you he's, go, on, he's on a long, rambling story here. Uh, he's, is it about the girlfriend from the reunion still? Not anymore. No, oh, that, that story had no ending, really. Uh, no just that he should have taken a shot, I guess. So now he's talking about sales scenarios again. You'll need this, and you'll need this, and you'll, you know the guy's saying, shut up, I've got an assignment here. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? No, I'll just take the outfit. Uh, uh, what happened? How about this and this and this and this? And they go, no, I'll only take this. Uh, you know, shall I wrap it or do you want to wear it? <laughs> Who's got one for me here? How about a pair of perfectly coordinated all cotton shorts to really complete the look with your new shirt? There you go. I mean, there's nothing worse than buying a pair of pants, wearing them once, and getting them home, washing them one time, and having them too short, is there? No, you're right. That's a terrible thing. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. How about a, a couple thing. of casual, perfectly matched shirts to go with the new slacks so you'll have something to wear with them all the time, even on laundry day? Well, maybe. Why don't you show me what you have? Okay. I mean, the secret word in this whole process is, stop! I mean, until you hear that <laughs> from these people, your customers, you just keep going. Can you imagine how good handling objections is going to be? So oh, breaking yeah. people down if they have a problem with something they're buying. It's like, it's all just the most, it's like for that it was, the technique was, if somebody's ordered, you know, got something they want, you say, how about a belt to complement the outfit and make it a complete package? Do you ever have to do suggestive selling? I did it at Blockbuster. I would always get people yeah. to buy a uh, popcorn and uh, a, a bottle of soda. And I was damn good at that. Uh, yeah, Same yeah. here. We'd have competitions, and uh, it worked, actually. I was surprised how often it worked. Be like, hey, you want to pre-order the Fox and the Hound, you know, or whatever, the coming out of the Disney vaults for another 15 bucks, and people yeah. would do it. I don't know about video of the year, though. I'm not I'm not feeling video of the year there. Really? On I don't All know. Right. Like, Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I felt like it was good hands with that guy. I wanted to hear the end of the story with the, the class reunion. With the, uh, no, you didn't. Um, no? But uh, he's, got, he's got a lot more to offer us. And he, he does comedy uh, bits. He's got these women in the palm of his hand. So I feel like he's a guy we've seen on a lot of VHS tapes. You know, like he seems like he's he, he's been on a few that we probably showed on the well, show. Well, he reminded me of the guy who uh, in the thing we have about uh, how urine is used for therapy where he's like well i think jesus was a great man but yes. i also feel that he did urine therapy and he's just confident and he has this audience that f is following his every word for some goddamn reason so yeah. that's yeah. what i loved about him um all right this is the a new uh, a, a part of my favorite corner uh, a new addition to it it's called Ooh, george's, george's death, 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 death visions, visions. Love it. Things being extruded out of things. And Mario's giving shots to me. We've all been extruded out of something. It's true. Yeah. That's how we came into this world. Remember that was the last one. Oh. And that one went into his mouth. <laughs> My um, so this is the segment where uh, we show videos of... So when George dies, it's going to be a sad day. But leading up to that point... It's going to be pretty exciting, actually. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know, when, when I think when you die, from what I've read, is that your life flashes before your eyes and you see all these images. And so occasionally we'll come across some of those images that look like something that George would see before he dies. And um, 
there's so we've been on this big project lately of importing all of our home movies uh mckenna's been on that project for the last couple months and uh, most of them are boring but the other day she she texted she's like oh man i just came across one that was like she described it as the ring the movie mm. the ring which i've never seen before but i do know that it's like vhs like something gets isn't it vhs related a watch? video that curses the watcher of it yeah she described this uh family reunion home movie tape as the ring and so i watched it and she's 100 percent right and it's also mm. george's deathbed vision so um we're going to start off with the reunion there's a lot of people eating and not really saying anything chewing food and then all of a sudden it segues into what mckenna was talking about what scared mckenna so uh, here we go, George's Deathbed Visions. Mark it on the calendar. Yep. Nick, if you were at this family reunion, like, what what would what would be as a vegan? What would be your plan of attack? Uh, somebody usually brings applesauce. That's kind of my go-to. So I'd I'd find a nice styrofoam bowl and uh, put mm -hmm. some mats in there and uh, pretend I wasn't hungry. What if somebody said, "Hey, I, I got some uh, Morning Star burgers. Uh, those, they're <laughs> vegetarian. I got those for you. You can eat those." <laughs> Like, oh, you know what? A bit of an upset stomach. I'm working through a thing right now, but uh, I just, would, just applesauce for me. You wouldn't go with, uh, I had a late lunch earlier today? I might try that, okay. yeah. All right. <laughs> Here's the moment that McKenna was talking about. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Hold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yield her and stir. Sequel set up. Yep. yep. Ending this one now. Whoa. <laughs> there it is. Uh, uh, George cool. Duffel Vision. Uh, Pressing yeah. the fade button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, all uh, right. Uh, Good one. Thanks to McKenna for uh, finding that gem. Man, yeah. These home movies, every, you got to watch a lot of them, but every once in a while, something like that happens. Something and, magical uh, will happen. Gives you the strength uh, to go on. All right, what do you think? You want to uh, get into some cyber videos on the internet? I'll play that intro, sure. Okay. Okay, real quick one. Uh, There's a video found on the internet. It's a modern commercial with a great jingle. Um, and this is sent in by Josh. This is hot off the presses. It's for a company called uh, Busy B. They uh, they are a locksmith. And uh, I think somewhere in California. If you're locked out, won't you please call Busy B? We make a lot of keys. Call Busy B. Re-keys, new keys. We even do safes. Factory car remotes, car locks repaired and replaced. Call Busy Bees, you know what to do. Call 619-733-0172. 619-733-0172. Electronic locks, building fobs, mailboxes, yippee. Get your keys from the bees. There's been about 12 syllables in there. Busy Bees. 
Was that klezmer that had like it, a? It sounded yeah. It sounded like a little bit maybe like a Russian dance song yeah. or uh, maybe yeah maybe it's some klezmer music from Israel or something. And they, but, they did cram in a but yeah way too many syllables into that. Yeah, verse. electronic I, fobs in it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, slow down. Uh, but thanks to Josh, uh, maybe maybe a contender for our toe tapping tournament at some point. I like. We'll it. see. I don't know how that would do. But what what state was it from? Because that could be California. A, definitely a, a state jingle for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think California has been decided, but uh, maybe have we, maybe have we done California? I don't know. I felt like we did. We have. I'll have, we to have. I didn't do pull it. Pull up my pocket size map. Um. Yeah. All right. What do you got, Steve? What do you got? So for this week's Jock Sham, uh, I am going to bring this back to, I think it's the early 90s. It is a Denny's commercial. And at the time, the rage was like these hologram cards. I don't know if you uh, collected cards like I do, but I really thought that that was going to be my uh, 401k. And that would be the investments that uh, got me out of that hell hole. But here yep. we are. Yep. Um, but this one's, boxes and, uh, this one's but, yeah, great because it's a Denny's card. And everyone's obviously really excited <laughs> to get their Denny's baseball cards. With one Wally Joyner. Oh, Wally Joyner. I loved him. Was he any good? Yeah, I might... oh, there oh, Wait, I should play the intro, Steve. Ha hold on. People, oh, please, we'll, please. We'll get letters. It's a joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. Boring you with a signature draw. It's a joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. This rap is done. Now it's over to you. That's a good okay. One. All right. Go ahead. Steve, you ready? Wally Joyner? Uh, yes. And oh, Wally Joyner was okay, but he never lived up to the promise um, uh, of his rated rookie card. I collected Here all we... his baseball cards. I, and he had a, a great name, I think. Wally Joyner. Yeah. That's a great baseball name. But... He's a solid player, but not a star, in my in my humble opinion. Okay. Here, here's a uh, Jock Sham, though. And he is a star in this Jock Sham. All right. Maybe I hit the wrong button. Let's try oh. that again. Oh, boy. Here we go. I see it starting to play. There we go. Just slowing in, I guess. Come on. I need some joiner. I need some Wally joiner. It makes players look like they've come to lie. Right. That hologram looks just like Wally joiner. It is Wally joiner. The card works. Let's get more at Lenny's. Denny's. Denny's. Have a grand slam and a Coca Cola classic and get an upper deck hologram baseball card. Only at Denny's. Uh, kind of a scope, uh, yeah. but. Uh, we, we got every. I saw like three images. I saw a little Wally Joiner in there. Uh, yeah, that's I don't know. Someone's called me. Uh, Markula is calling me out as Flub Jam, which is probably uh, <laughs> it's a Flub uh, Jam, Flub Jam, Flub Jam. <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> more rapper <apropos. laughs> I don't know. I tested it in the pregame. I know. I don't know. Well, right now you're on. all like you're all like jittery. We're still doing the stream yard. We're still trying to figure out the stream yard thing. And uh, yeah. You uh, have to be not only on a hardwired Ethernet connection, you have to be in the internet, like where it starts <laughs> in order for this program to work without I'm I'm working in like a corner with this uh, little light. That's why I was like so uh there's a lot going on here today. <laughs> I've never seen you more frozen, Steve. Uh, uh, perfect. All never, right. Never a better time for it. George, what do you have for us? Oh man, I hope this works. <laughs> My computer feels like it's about to burst into flames. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You're wearing a hat. What's going on? Yeah. You never wear hats. What's going on? Well, a little thing called taking a shower didn't get to happen today. So mm. I thought I'd, I thought I'd, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Can we see what and, it looks like when you don't take a shower? Can you take off the hat? We get the Patreon up to a Patreon certain Patreon up to five grand. <laughs> five yeah. grand a month. All right. You heard and, him. You know what? Well, I'll get Steve's nephew to take off his hat. And, <laughs> oh, uh, perfect. Yeah. How's that yeah. going? Steve, you don't have to. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I think Steve doesn't even have a nephew. How about that? Wow, I, that I like that theory. Yeah, yeah. He lives in Canada, right, Steve? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get this. Oh, let's... his computer's not working. He can't respond. Uh -huh, yeah, I'm that. just gonna <laughs> let everything go. Yeah. Um, okay. George, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Let's see if this. Uh, I'm, I'm watching the wheel turn as it attempts to upload my uh, video right now. But what I wanted to do was create a game show. Oh, it's called. I've seen it. A B C equals PSA. A plus B plus C equals PSA. It's a game show in which you're given uh, three sets of things that you combine to make a PSA. So okay. the objective, guess the three components of a PSA. So let's see. So A, we have 
a uh, former football player, a former oh. child actor, a former <laughs> astronaut, or a former president. <laughs> Be a, in a Revolutionary War uniform, in a Boy Scout uniform, in a deep sea diving suit, in a clown suit, or, combined with starts a small fire, warns about smoking, reads the Constitution, or talks about crime. So you create a sentence. So each of you give me a sentence that you guess this PSA is going to be. Okay, I'm going to say former astronaut um, who's uh, in a deep sea diving suit. That would make sense. And uh, warns about smoking. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a child actor, Revolutionary War uniform, and reads the Constitution. Ooh, that's pretty former cool. football player in a clown suit talks about crime. Well, only one of you got any of them correct. A part, <laughs> a part of it right. Last year, over 1,500 murders, 38,000 robberies, 76,000 violent crimes, 82,000 cases of drug abuse. One and one half million crimes in all were committed by teenage boys. Scouting can make a difference. <laughs> Support the your Scout. local Boy Scout Council. Oh, I thought it was Jim Plunkett. Today more than ever, boy, do we need scouting. Boy, do we need scouting. So, okay, yes. A former president in a Boy Scout uniform mm -hmm. <laughs> talks about crime. Okay. okay. Uh, so now you understand the concept. Yeah, right? now I get it. Now I get it. That was that was the preseason game. Now we can okay. go on to the regular season. Yeah. Okay. So let's do a couple more here. We got um, A plus B plus C. Mr. T, and or Ricky Schroeder and Bryce Beckham and Mama from Mama's Family and I hope it's that one. Alf, Ed Koch, Jim Brown, a crowd crowd of singing children talk about junk food. Talk about fair housing. Talk about teen drinking. Talk about after school sports. Gentlemen, what are your sentences? Mama from Mama's Family and Jim Brown, because I think that dynamic could go together. I could see mm -hmm. that being a thing. Um, but they're going to talk about uh, after school sports. I think that because uh, he's the sports thing. And uh, yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. Well, as much as I want to include Bryce Beckham, I'm also going to say Mama from Mama's Family and Ed Koch talk about uh, fair housing. Oh, I'm going to say Ricky Schroeder and a crowd of singing children talk about teen drinking. Okay. All right. No, okay. Nobody's guessing Elf because I think Nick would have already known about this PSA. Yeah, that so like nobody's, nobody wanted yeah. Elf. Yeah. All right. So let's see. A plus B plus C. We're here to see the apartment. It's just been rented. People out because of their race, creed, color, sex, age, or handicap. And that's the law. And the T Force will enforce that law in court. If discrimination is keeping you out, you call the New York City Fair Housing Task Force. The T Force can open <laughs> doors for you. <laughs> All right. Ed Koch, Fair Mr. Teen Edge Koch, talk about fair housing. All right, one last one. All right. I got two out of three on that one. Right. So Jim Varney, yeah. Oh, yeah. Abe Lincoln, Todd Bridges, or a moonwalking werewolf gets shot, gets drunk, gets injured, gets suplexed for the environment, for literacy, for the United Way, for the National Guard. I'm, I'm going Jim Varney for sure. He, you know they got him for PSAs. and um, But he gets injured uh, for the environment. Mm. <laughs> I was going to say for the United Way. I'll go moonwalking werewolf gets shot for the United Way. Uh, I'm going to say Abe Lincoln gets shot for the National Guard. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, for the <laughs> <laughs> they make a mockery of presidential assassination. If Abe yeah. Lincoln had been in the National Guard, he right. wouldn't have gotten shot. All right. Well, actually, Steve, you're the closest. Mm. Oh. But it's not actual Abe Lincoln. So In 1832, a very special man joined a new unit of the Illinois militia. Volunteers, choose your captain. I'm the toughest man here. I'll be captain. Hold on. I'll wrestle you for it. What? The Come National up. Guard and Reserve was called the militia when Abraham Lincoln took time off his job to join. Yeah, that's a flick against suplex. Right oh, there. it is a suplex. 
Abe Lincoln, the new captain. If Lincoln worked for you today, would you give him time off to serve his country? There are guardsmen and reservists who work for you now. Be fair to them. Their readiness is still vital. Protect their future while they... All right, so it was uh, Lincoln uh, suplex. gets suplexed for the United... For, uh, I was hoping it was going to be like, like an actual like WWE suplex where they like put them straight up in the air and then they like fall down... Like, right, right, like that, and also I wanted actual Abe Lincoln too. So I don't think Steve should get any uh, points for that. <laughs> well, you didn't see it, but just off camera in that Civil War battlefield, where Alf and Bryce Beckham, so, <laughs> right. and um, talking to Gorilla Monsoon, it was um, <laughs> no, but that was you really don't hear about in history class that that was when no. Lincoln won the in Intercontinental Belt. You should uh, right. hear more about it first. That's yeah. right. I like that you included a moonwalking werewolf on there, and Nick fell for it. <laughs> I did. Well, the thing is, the one I wanted to happen. There, I do have a, a commercial that features a moonwalking werewolf. We'll, oh, we'll see okay. it soon. All right. Oh, oh okay. I, okay. I like this. Everybody. I like this new game a lot. Yeah. Speaking of which, George, we got to do a uh, VCR Smarty at some point. When when is that going to happen? Are we going to? I'll say this what? at some point. At some point, okay. it requires it requires thousands and thousands of researchers scouring fifty-two episodes, and me doing it too. Okay, so we'll right. get to it. So sometime this summer, we will see a VCR Smarty. I can't wait; it's my favorite day. Um, all right, let's get into some IMG. video transmission uploaded with no intention. Harvested semi-ethically. Welcome to IMG. All right, these are the least popular videos on the internet, and uh, boy, there's some good ones. So this guy Fra Fraser, F R A S E R Fraser, Fraser in uh, New Zealand sent over his. He's been stockpiling them for years, and he's like, I have the cream of the crop here. I have so much good stuff. I featured it, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, he had the the guy who couldn't remember the rap. Do uh, you remember that? Uh, the, yes. Or, the yeah. Guy rapped, it, and, and he had to be the, prompted the, quite a bit. Yeah. Yep. The French dressing, uh, the rhythmic French dressing thing. Mm. He's got a great eye for this stuff. And uh, here's more gems from him. So this first one, IMG 2002, this has 13 views. And uh, Fraser said, will it dispense suspense? Will it dispense suspense? Come on. <laughs> no, it no. won't. Okay. No. Las um, Vegas is placing bed road is placing bets on that. And I, I really they could have used a uh incongruous soundtrack right there. I would have mm -hmm. really liked Agreed. that. Um all right, next up. This is this is different. Maybe this is how they do it in New Zealand. I don't know. Mm. Um, but GoPro ninety eight, I think must just be GoPro's, you know, generic default uh, titling system 19 mm -hmm. views on this one man plays harmonica for guitar or for dog man plays harmonica for dog i thought they were like kind of like in sync on that at the end like that was like <laughs> Harmonizing with yeah, it was pretty good. Monica. It sounded like the music for the Abe Lincoln PSA too, by the way. It did. <laughs> IMG 1256, 15 views, mathematics themed Barbie Girl parody. You know that Barbie Girl song? Yeah. Uh, it's a mathematics themed one. George, I think you're gonna like this one. This is another school project where they decide to wrap it instead of like actually doing any work. Mm -hmm. Um there we go. Wait. I'm a nerdy girl in a nerdy world. I wear glasses, attend my classes. You can make a square and root it everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Come on, buddy, let's go study. But nerdy girl in a nerdy world. I wear... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Nick, do you like this one so far? <laughs> uh, it's hitting a little close to home. Uh, yeah. Wait, how, how's it hitting close to home? Uh, I mean, we I would I wouldn't do raps, but I certainly did videos for projects. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, this speaks to you. Yeah. Your right. glasses. I tell my classes, you can make a square and root it everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Not many people know it's an end. Do, do you think we'll get flagged by, from, by YouTube for this one? Absolutely. You think YouTube's, uh, the algorithm, algorithm will pick that one up. Yeah. It'll recognize the song. Infinite world where the numbers just never end. But with math, enough theories that make you so dizzy. Variables, all these forms of mathematics. X and Y. <laughs> Speaking of cramming in syllables. Yeah. A and B. That took a turn. So many possibilities. I'm a nerdy girl in a nerdy world. I wear glasses. Attend my classes. You can make a square. Oh, what, and what, like a C plus, maybe? Imagination. Uh, I see. I'm not hearing much math yeah. in there. No. No. no there, do you want me to play back? There, there's some. Uh, no, no, no. I heard, <laughs> I heard, I heard the sentences, but they, 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 this, I just got me. word. Yeah, the yeah. band Aqua has taken us down. We're broadcasting for no one now because. I think they close. mentioned a cosine in there, George. I can, I can. I'm happy to back it up if you want. Yeah, I think. Uh, no, that's. All right, uh, let's wrap it up here. Come on, buddy. Let's go study. Math, math. Come on, buddy. Let's go study. Math, math, math. Come on, buddy. Let's go study. Math, math. Yeah, I think a C minus probably. I think that's. I don't get, get this math as nerd thing they've got going on. What is that? Like, math is really cool, it turns out. Hmm. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. been talking about it in my apartment. I guess so. <laughs> um, here's, a, here's a new one. Vid 2, what? 2017, 12, 24. I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's a date. Or yeah. on the rails. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Uh, 14 views. Fraser said, drunk Australian wishes us all a, a Merry Christmas. Is it working? It's on me, is it? Okay. Merry Christmas, all you fuckers. Hope your bikes never break down, and I hope your miles are long. All the best to you, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> we got to play that on December 24th. Yeah, we got to play that one. Rocks yeah. are done. Got to sleep. Bye. Oh, you fuckers. Yep. <laughs> I love that, man. Yeah, I do too. All right, good batch. Let's get into some quick, nice things. We got some teeth to raffle, so we gotta we gotta make oh, this quick. Oh yeah, that's but, gonna uh, be yeah yeah yeah. But hey, we uh, we're just at VHS Fest at the Mahoning Drive-In in Pennsylvania, like we mentioned, and uh, a lot of uh, talented viewers dropped off uh, items for us. We've gotten a lot of great things over the years from Melinda's, like like things that take a lot, like like uh, Tate Tate Boy. Remember Tate Boy yes. up there, like that 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 there. Um, this like. Uh, uh, cross stitch of uh, you know, like people spend Harvey time working on this. Yeah. Harvey said Fisher. People spend time doing this. This person definitely spent some time making this. Look at this thing. This is what are they called, Nick? Russian dolls? Nesting dolls. Yeah, nesting dolls. This is from Russian. Dave, by the way. Dave sent this one. Now look at that attention to detail. And I was, I was fine just with this as is. That's me uh, on the cover. But then you open oh, it God. up, and then look, or you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, the, the opener. Uh, and then you got a Nick in there with a VCR. And what do you have there? Oh, you're... Oh, sip, uh, yeah. Sip, yeah. 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 Yep. Oh, and he's got that. But wait, then you open it up, and then there's a... Wow. Who is it? There's a George. Yep. Look wow. That. A, look at that. There it is. Need to, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to be making an appointment for... Uh, a certain procedure soon. <laughs> okay, but wait, there's more. You keep opening the sucker up. And look at this. There's a Steve. There's a Steve. Uh thumbprint with, yeah, with the hit, facial hair. Hit that Steve button. If you guys like the episode, hit that <laughs> Steve button. <laughs> yep, there it is. Wait a second. There's more? Are you there's kidding a, me? Yeah. You open up another one. Aww. And uh, look at there's a Marty. A, there's a Marty in there. There's a little Marty inside of all of us. I would you say. can tell on the that's bottom. That's how you know it's Marty. If you look on the bottom, oh, yeah. A, uh, yep. 
There's a oh. little red thing sticking oh, out. Oh, there's so. a little red thing sitting on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. it pokes out, actually. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah. like, texture to it. <laughs> yeah. So wow. thank you, Dave. That was blown away by that. Just dropped off that, a few ALF books, and uh, I think a mug that said Joe on it, right, for you? Oh, so yeah. Is that, that what I'm all... – yeah, some drinking out of it right now. Yeah, that was wow. also from Dave. So thank so you very much. Nice things, Dave. Dave. Nice mm-hmm. work. Yeah. Um, what else we got? We got uh... – Well, we met Mr. Nasty. That was the big thing. Um, uh, we're, t- we're 20 seconds away from a a recap, if, if you uh... – you're from, oh, you're uh, working on a recap? <laughs> well, no, it's 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 the compression is occurring. But in me trying to explain this to you, yeah, it's now ready. Oh, all right. So, nice um, yeah. Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. It's ready to go. You you have a recap? Yes. The, okay, sweet. Um. So. Uh, oh boy. Or do you not? No. Well, yeah, I totally do. Here, I, uh, I can help you vamp, but. Look at this. He even included like my my pit wisps on the and side. And Batman cereal, yeah. And the Batman cereal, yeah, yeah, wisps, all that. So amazing. Okay. Are right, you right, ready, so, George? Yeah, it's it's uh, okay. should be. Okay. Uh, he's the video insult person. He's wearing a trench coat, right? And, and he's, he's like, like kind of walking through an alley, and he's insulting the person who's watching it. Right. Dogs are man's best friends, but you don't have any friends. Why else would you be getting this tape? The person who hired me thinks you're ugly. That's ugly. You're disgusting. You're scum. Yeah, we've been watching a little bit by like a minute by a minute on the show. Hey, George, you gotta look him up, Mr. Nasty. How are you today, Larry? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? All right. So after we showed the Mr. Nasty uh, clip last year, I got an email from the people who run the Mahonic Drive-In, who. Uh, invited he's been mr nasty has been shown between movies for years there i think and he's, they love he's, mr nasty there mm-hmm. they yep. uh put they made buttons and they uh they found him they invited him and uh printed up a trading card of mr nasty and uh i got there and was able to see joe meet mr nasty it was a beautiful right, moment there he right is. up right outside of the bathroom too and i peed next to him during it which i thought like oh that's fitting you know i get to pee next to mr it's, nasty and yeah we and then chatted a little bit and then uh nick and joe interviewed him and it was projected on that's yeah. it that's the drive-in screen interview might not be the right word but uh, <laughs> it was it was we, the, we, the we had a conversation q and uh, it was the most surreal conversation I've ever seen. <laughs> Although in the middle of it, he 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 dropped that he had been in a commercial. I mean, we've been looking for his stuff for years, and yeah. he said that he was in in a pizza commercial. And I think by the end of <laughs> not long after, I, I I turned to Nick and said, "I've got it," and uh, I found it instantaneously within two minutes. Help you folks. Hi, got any microwaves, um, Bob? Yeah. Great. Let's go, kids. Thanks, Bob. Let's go. Just uh, cooking a Tony's microwave pizza, Bob. Couldn't wait to get home. You work on commission here, don't you? Clearly, Mr. Nasty. Tony, yep. the Hot pizza you can't wait to eat. Bob, microwave pizza. You make a better door than you do a window, Bob. And that's when uh, things were weird and getting weirder. And then he asked after uh, describing. I don't know. How would you characterize most of the of the, of the question interview? He told uh, us a lot about you know how he got the job and all that, and how he was an, an actor and did a lot of other things. And he just you know shot on that for a couple of days and forgot about it until you know you tracked him down. But then uh, he said he had something prepared and he well, had right, something right. written down on a piece of paper. I was gonna say like most most of the time was him complaining about re- residuals too. Like he was, yeah. I mean he probably got screwed out of that tape. I'm sure that he was promised some money and he never got it. But uh, he, <laughs> well, he made he made some we sales that claims that were were fascinating. He said something. His estimate was three quarters of a million copies, which uh, I, so I, I was going to bring up. Uh, that's that's a that's three, a lot of that's a lot of uh, that's, that's more tapes. than like Jerry Maguire's, isn't it? I yeah. mean, like three quarters <laughs> I don't think of the ET sold that many. Guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Mister Nasty. Um, uh, so and, and then he revealed that recently he uh, he had uh, had a heart. I guess it was a heart heart attack or, or yeah. heart or something and he was dead on the table for 10 minutes and that, that explains why when he signed my uh my mr nasty 
autograph, he wrote, George, you resurrected my career because he has this thing now that he's back from the dead. And so right. to oh. give thanks, he, he took things in not a Canadian, but a religious uh, way. And he wanted to sing a hymn. And he this is him asking Joe and Nick um, about it. And him really, it, this is not the, Canadian. This is you thought of about yeah. 700 people in cards. Yeah. yeah. So you can, you can tell me when to stop, although the way it ends with the, uh, is pretty great too. I was trying to get music behind it, but I couldn't find it. Joe, do you want to do a beatbox? Yeah, 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 something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, please. Sorry, you're under on the right. Way. Okay. <laughs> Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling for you and for me. See all the portals. He's waiting and watching. Watching for you and for me. Oh, we're going to watch the whole song, huh? I could skip ahead, but it was, you know, it it, it was it was kind of poignant. Oh, uh, is, uh, but also screen. I like the move. Also very weird, um, and uh, and watching watching the two of you wonder how long this was going to go. Um, <laughs> well, I had my eye on the sheet and it was like he's halfway through, and it sounded like the song was wrapping up, but he sang the whole song. I right. think he even added some verses. Yeah, he. <laughs> I'll just get to right to the end. But. And, and I'm providing the light there, too. Oh, I thought this was the end. That's what I thought. Yeah, so did we, many times. Okay. Yeah, so anyhow, if you, could, you couldn't really hear it, but it was car horns honking uh, the first time that a, a hymn <laughs> hey, was him. ended with... With car horns, it was it was yeah. fascinating. He he wanted you guys to sing along. Not we're not exactly the most uh, devout group, no, or, or religious in any way group. No, Maybe not even close. Well, and then the th we interviewed him again the second night. We asked him a few different questions because it was a two night thing, and he sang the hymn again. I think it was he stretched it even longer, and then uh, he said that I also want to do a prayer. So we all sat down for a prayer about uh, I don't know blessing everybody at the drive-in. So. It yep. was uh, it was a journey for everyone it, there. It was a it was an interesting night for sure. But but you know the first night I think he was like I think he was like Jack Rebney where he was like all right who who are these people that find this video so funny that I'm not getting residuals from? But then by the end he was signing autographs and getting pictures. Yeah. But the second night he had a pep in his step. Oh and, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So it was fun. It was fun. And, like, and he, he yeah. brought with him a follower. He so he somehow had had attracted uh, a follower to nasty dumb who uh, perhaps an astrological uh, uh devotee because mr nasty is a, an astrologer it was yeah. bizarre Night well, two was yeah even weirder the guy who was his wrangler I, I, I thought it was like his manager or something i was like what's your can kind of reminded me of like i don't know like crispin glover or something or like he kind of um you know I, I, he was a nice guy and he like helped us out and he loved our interview and everything but then i was like oh are you like what's your relationship are you like his manager he's like no 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 i was there when he uh became a master astrologer and so uh he was like <laughs> i was in the same room with him when he became a master astrologer when he passed the uh, baton right he passed the baton from like wendy i can't remember wendy a bit gold or something like that and uh he became he's like he has psychic abilities that you wouldn't believe so Oh, he, Whew, he came up to me and said, "He said, I bet you're a Scorpio, you know, and that, that's amazing." Did he say that? Yeah, was he right? I, I, or wrong? Was he right? He, he, he was wrong, but he, he, you know, he said it. You know, <laughs> he, um, maybe so, you're wrong. Maybe you are a Scorpio. Whoa, that's what I'm thinking. Wow. Well, yeah. thanks to anything else from the Honing, uh, was I, uh, so much happened that weekend. Laura was I, there. I, it was uh, it yeah. Was, well, we were we were all Scott there, and yep. We were all there, Hut. and uh, I, I took some photos. Yeah, we, we went to uh, Pizza Hut, and there's George. And uh, we went to this <laughs> Pizza Hut that the air conditioning wasn't working, and, like, they stored all of their boxes in the dining area. It was a weird, it was a weird lunch for sure. But then George took a bite of his personal pan pizza, and that's, that's uh, Lenora right next to him. And uh, I noticed he had – look at it. He, he, put, he, puts, <laughs> he puts a napkin – on his pizza while he's yep. eating it. Steve, Why? did you know this about George? That he I, doesn't touch anything directly. It does sound familiar. <laughs> well, he usually he usually, wears, he usually wears gloves, but I didn't know he did a napkin technique. That was a new one for me. No, but I did that. I did that when uh, Nick bought a pizza 
three uh, and a half years right. ago, but I'm, and oh, I'm insulted. But but and I would have yeah. just only held part and not eaten it, just put it aside without it. But the pizzas were so small, I had to you know I see. throw part I of the see. pizza away. So then we go outside after lunch. Check this out: we found two gloves on the ground, <laughs> and George pointed to them. Could, could maybe subway gloves, maybe, maybe. I, but I could uh, only pick them up with another pair of gloves because they were on the ground. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Then I found out that George likes swimming. He sent a picture. He's like, hey, "I want swimming." Look, he actually has a cap. He has like a swimming cap and, and shoulder hair. They're no, learning more all the time. <laughs> Did you know that about him, Steve? That he likes to swim. I. You know what? I don't think so. I always associate George with walking in uh, cemeteries. Yes. That's exactly. Do you swim at cemeteries ever, George? <laughs> You've given me something to shoot for because there are some <laughs> nice ponds at over at a uh, at uh, Greenwood Cemetery. There were some uh, there were some uh, cool people at the, this. Look at this guy. This this kid had a Trash Humpers T-shirt, and then his mom was there, and I was like, "Oh, I love your Trash Humpers shirt." She goes, "I got him that for Christmas." <laughs> and I, I was like, it's "Oh, boy. different than my mom." Yeah. <laughs> You, Nick, you should get your mom a trash humper shirt. Yeah, I should actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look at this. This guy was there. They they drove all the way from Iowa, and uh, he had a Nacho Chihuahua copy that Robert doesn't have, and so that was kind of cool. Who who signed that? Who's that signed by? Me. He asked you? me to sign it. Yeah, yeah and me. Yeah, and then what? and then yeah. Why would you guys sign Nacho Chihuahua copies? I don't know. He was waiting he for you. I guess he didn't it. come back. He, you yeah. were getting the ice. I think. Oh, okay. That day. Yeah. 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 All right. So if a bad conspiracy shirt on there too. Yeah. Um, oh, look, they were selling Mr. Nasty towels used after eating popcorn, porta potty visits, late night shame. Um, <laughs> somebody was selling, what was it? They're they selling like a bumper sticker. I couldn't find a picture of it, but that said, uh, I sucked off Mr. Nasty at the Mahoning drive in, and all I got <laughs> was this lousy bumper sticker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Nasty's getting residuals from that one either. So he made a joke so, about it, though, I think the next night. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Brought yeah, up yeah. To him and he, yeah, I brought it up. Yeah, he thought it was funny. Yeah. Uh, here's a Mr. Nasty doll that uh, I think her name's Kristen. I think she crocheted a Mr. Nasty doll. Very talented. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, this is, I think, this is my photo of me with Mr. Nasty. Um, first of all, uh, I, I sent this to Kyle Mooney because, you know, he, he he's a big Mr. Nasty fan. He responded immediately. It was like, holy shit, I can't believe you got to meet him. And then uh, also that shirt that I'm wearing, the the clown with the uh, the Thanksgiving the Thanksgiving cookie. clowns, yeah, yeah, it's a lot, got a lot of compliments about it. it. Makes me think that maybe we should sell that as a uh, a t-shirt that are hard to explain. Yeah, definitely. If we can't win the actual painting from Skip Alzheimer, I think that the shirt's the next best next best thing. Do we have to give him money for it, or do we have to? I don't know. Do, um, we, have to, do we have to give him a cut? Yeah, well, let's just we say still, no. Let's just say yeah, no. Let's say no. Let's What's say he gonna no. do? Yeah. What's he gonna do? We have a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, those are my photos. Where'd Steve we lost, go? We lost Steve. He was in, disinterested, I think. Um, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's some uh, some nice things. Should we raffle some teeth before? Uh... Uh, I got two more. <laughs> I have two more nice things I want to show, but they're, they're long and it. we're running long here, aren't we? Yeah, let's save them. Steve's coming back too, I think. So okay, yeah, let's uh, yeah, raffle let's, off, let's raffle off the, these okay. uh, teeth. Uh, this okay. is what you promised people, and I want to deliver. Okay. All right. So. Uh, I think years ago, I put out a call when we were making Tate Boy that I wanted to make him with actual human teeth. And ever since then, people have been sending me teeth. I went through the drawers. There's so many. I, I just kept digging it out. And there's, in here, there's children's teeth. There's old people's teeth. There's all sorts of teeth. Like, I have tons of teeth here. And I never did anything with them. And so uh, I, I, just looking through there, it's kind of grossed me out a little bit. So I was like, let's just get rid of them. And uh, I asked you to send in uh, envelopes to choose a new owner of my teeth collection. Now, I should point out, I'm not giving away the rabbit's teeth that uh, Sally gave me. Those are right. staying in the drawer. I'm going to save those. I'm going to give those to Steve for his birthday. Um, all right. So let's let's go through. All right, so much. Can you guys put some like cool music on that would be a? Uh... I think I can really? actually. Can you? Yeah, hang on a second. Okay, all right. Let me try this. Uh... Oh, yes. Good intense music. We got a winner. 
All right. We got a winner. Let's see. It is <laughs> Shabon Moink. Oh, Shabon from San Francisco. Look at Oh, look at this. And, and Shabon, oh, envelope this. Too. yeah, great envelope. Yeah, so you you earned it. You are the winner of my teeth. So I'm going to be mailing these to San Francisco. Is it illegal to mail human teeth to over the? I would imagine, the, uh, but uh, we'll leave the pack them so that the, the post postal worker doesn't should, get bitten. Should I should I put them in like a jar of peanut butter or something? Yeah, you know, because like that that can usually get past the. Yeah, I've uh, done that before. Detergent. Yeah. Well, oh, congratulations. Yeah. And uh, is there a letter inside? There's a, uh, there's a nice letter. Uh, Dear Joe, closes my rejected Amazon review of Chop and Steel. Oh, it's okay. So, rejected. Oh, the, so Siobhan wrote a uh, review of Chop and Steel and called it the whip shit of all, of all shitter bongers. And so it got rejected. And uh, so. Dang it. Yeah, you know, no. I had but, the same problem trying to get my uh, Nick Sips plates. Did, did they, did Siobhan even mean to like, oh yeah, yeah, I want Joe's teeth, the collection of teeth, and I want it now sweepstakes. So, okay, I thought it was just like telling us that, but like, yeah. Well, Siobhan, congratulations. Siobhan them. The uh, yeah. three-month odyssey over who would win those discarded <laughs> teeth is over. <laughs> and uh, congratulations. The fanfare, the pageantry, it's all here on tonight's episode of VCR Party. Should Let me ask you guys this. Should I... Put these all together into one bundle, or should I send them all individually, stacked up like this, into like one uh, like cardboard you know box? Like, That's look, a look, question look for that. next week's episode. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, I think we need to stretch this out even more. Uh, let me mention that uh, we have uh, a show. We mentioned this that we're going to do a show on uh, August nineteenth, our new Volume Ten show here in New York, in Brooklyn, but uh, we're also showing Chop and Steel on the big screen with a Q&A afterwards, afterwards. And uh, some of our viewers put together this, uh, we're calling it MelindaCon, where you can go and uh, see our office beforehand in Brooklyn and then go over to the show and people are planning dinners and stuff. So you can go to foundfootagefest.com, um, go to the store and look at, there's a package here where you can get all this swag. We got lanyards, we got... Uh, <laughs> um, fun t exclusive t-shirts and uh, you pick that on and you can pick it up at the office so I just wanted to mention that yeah they're going all out for the for this tote bag too they're getting totes and they're uh, just I, this isn't a hundred percent but they're trying to get I, I almost want to keep it a I'm gonna keep it a secret I'm gonna keep it all a secret the one thing that you don't get is tickets to the show so you have to get tickets to the show through the bell house that's not included in the package just yeah. so you know so um, and uh, one other thing, we're uh, Patreon is how we are able to do everything we do, and we appreciate your support. We are at 493 backers. I think we could get up to 500. That could really uh, be a milestone for us. I think we it'd could, be good. These, these, are, these, shows, are, these shows are these fun. We started doing a new thing where we ask patrons to, uh, $10 and up patrons, to tell us what they want to watch, and then we watch it with them. So Mark, uh, a couple weeks ago, suggested that we watch The World of Beanie Babies. I think we showed it a few years ago, and he really took to it. And uh, I said, "Do you want to you want to be on the show with us?" He's like, "Sure." So, uh, yeah, Thursday night, Mark is going to join us. Oh, We're going to watch the World of Beanie Babies. And uh, so, if you are a ten dollar and up patron and you want to watch something with us, let us know what you want to watch, and we'll watch it with you Thursday nights. And this Saturday is a Saturday morning Dinah show where uh, Tim, Roy, and Skip Elsheimer watch uh, live action kids shows from the seventies. A lot of fun, and uh, I loved episode it. Comes out I Saturday. loved it because it's yeah. it's really a world that I don't know about. I don't know about those live action shows. I've seen the clips on YouTube and stuff, but I, I don't know anything, any of the backstories or any of that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's a new world for for me as well. And so. George is a great intro song. For yes, the song and intro yeah. is great. Thanks. Um, all right. Well, we've got uh, we're going to go out on the, the full version of the Dairy Queen uh, song, which I'm excited about, and. Uh, we have some plans for next week, but I think we should save it to find out what's what will happen. But uh, until next week, we, we'll we have be some right. what? We have some plans. What? Well, you know, there's going to be a special show next week. But, oh yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. still up in the air. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah, up in the air. Yeah. But uh, it'll be a, an atypical <laughs> show. It's definitely uh, not going to be VCR Smarty. No, but we'll be right back right after these uh, right after these words. Yep. And if we had been prepared, we could have done better. That's the thing. Uh, check out the Dad Time Out Show wherever you find podcasts. My nose isn't fully yuck anymore. So, you've got diabetes.
Taste that's lasted through the years The original good time place So come on, join the cheers Nothing's quite as good And nothing's so much fun Meet Dairy Queen Make a winning team Together we'll be serving up a real good time Nothing's quite as good Nothing's so much fun Meet Dairy Queen When we return, Dr. Selmer will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all. That's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep. Bye. That's it. That it done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a my nose is for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Cheerio. Have a good day. Tinkerbell! We'll be right back right after that. Good luck from all of us at Hagen. And Kurt Polster, the real great guy. Night, night. Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda.